I'll jump right in. And I, you know, you've been with this project since the beginning. And I wonder first, did you ever think it would become more relevant than it was when it began? And what does it mean to you to be a part of uh, art, entertainment, pop culture that is one of the rare um, pieces that's tackling bodily autonomy and uh, reproductive freedom? Some big questions. I mean, I, I think- oh, I know, I know. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, no, no, it's good, it's good. I mean, but to be honest, actually, if anything, it's not even just good. It's like the point, like, that's the greatest thing for me about the show is to be part of something which is part of a greater conversation and a touchstone. Like, mm -hmm. ideally art, allows us to think more clearly, to feel more clearly, to understand the context of our world, to give us, you know, some metaphors, some 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 stories in which to kind of contextualize our own lives. And I think the writers of Handmaids and the, the producers and directors, everyone has just done such a great job of of doing that because we need that in the world because it's it's it can be it's distressing what's going on in the world. Yeah. It absolutely is. Um, thank you. Uh, and then I wonder if you would, uh, if you would talk a little bit about the season we see Luke. Uh, there's an episode where Luke and June uh, are, uh, you know, leave their safe space, and we see for the first time Luke is a bit in peril, and uh, June, who's been through so much of this, uh, has to really kind of talk him through it, which is, I think, kind of a flip of the script. Typically, you'd see the husband talking the, the wife through it. And uh, I, I thought that was kind of a really beautiful moment. And uh, even though it was traumatic, uh, I wonder if you would talk a little bit about that dynamic. Yeah, I think it's one of the things I've always enjoyed about this dynamic between Luke and June is that June She's the action hero, you know, and, <laughs> and, and Luke is the um, suburbanite. And, um, and so, yeah, I, I just, I love that dynamic and, and, and Lizzie does such a great job of playing it. Yeah. And what was it like for you to shoot those scenes of, um, you know, that were traumatic, um, you know, where he's been, he's been like the family guy and, and then suddenly you're tossed into these more, um, upsetting situations um, at least physically yeah I, it's um to be honest it, it, it's it's I, I, I hate to put it like this but it's it's fun for an actor to, to to be challenged like that to be challenged physically to be pushed in 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 ways that kind of like take your character to new places and i think there's been a real evolution in luke since season one and seeing like yeah. what what do we can we throw at this man to make him get it to make him change and and I think his eyes are opened a lot this season. Yeah, great. Um, you know, there's this really beautiful kind of chosen family uh, that's happening in Canada. Uh, I, I feel like Moira is as much a part of this marriage uh, in some ways as uh, uh, Luke and uh, June at this point. Um, and then of course, Rita is there. And would you talk a bit about um, the necessity of having that uh, family unit. Yeah, I think our chosen family is essential in kind of navigating life. And, and indeed, Moira is a parent of Nicole as well. Like all the time June's not been here, Moira has been the mother. And so the caretaker, the parent. And so, yeah, she, she's, I mean, also Smear White is amazing, but yeah, the, you know, Mo Moira is just, yeah, I don't know what we would, what Luke would do without her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then there's also this interesting uh, dynamic this season with um, June and Serena. And June, <laughs> June has really done some wild things. Uh, um, and Luke, Luke is so aghast at them, but he's really the one who's kind of steering her away from Serena. And I, I wonder if you would talk a little bit about his feelings about Serena, um, this person who is kind of in June's life. Um, and I just wonder if you would talk a bit about that because it's so fascinating to me. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. But what's interesting to me is that I think before now, Serena has not been any part of Luke's focus, really. Um, you know, the focus is Hannah, the focus is June, the focus is maybe Commander Waterford. 
and Serena is not really so much in focus. And what is interesting happens this season is that we Luke kind of starts with this thing of like, stop focusing on Serena, focus on Hannah, come back to what we need to do. And Serena kind of, as she can, inserts herself into their lives, into Luke's life in, in a way which changes him forever. Mm -hmm. And that would be with with the video of Hannah, I imagine, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm always like, well, how much to say, you know, and I don't want to spoil things. But, <laughs> right, right. but yeah, but definitely in episode two, there's there's that big thing. Um, but I think later on as well, in mid-season, there's, um, there's also more interactions between them that are a bit uh, consequential. Yeah. And uh, because Luke hasn't had a lot of interaction with Serena, I wonder if you would talk a little bit about getting to work with Yvonne uh, just a little bit more. I mean, what can I say? I'm a fan. Uh, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's incredible. She's unbelievable. It's absolutely yeah. unbelievable. And so um, she just, uh, and what's so interesting as well, like, she as a human being is so playful, so fun, so silly. She's silly. And and <laughs> and just I love hanging out with her. And then you watch her on screen and she's just fierce and high, you know, it's she's amazing. Great. Well, thank you very much. Um I have to wrap, but uh congratulations on the season. It's it's so thank good. You. And thanks uh, so much. Yeah, take care. <laughs>